So now it's the big day. It's time to launch my new app company and I'm excited. I spent so much time creating the webinar presentations and you know, figuring out how I was gonna follow up and you know, making sure that you know, the company out of Vegas was able to produce and create these apps up to par. We had finally gotten to the point where they were getting approved and you know, it was awesome, I was excited. So I remember I started emailing my list and I was setting up this big webinar to launch this awesome company and I did. I mean, I, I can't remember the exact number in terms of how many people were registered, but it was the most I had ever had registered ever because one, you know, I was showing them that awesome picture of all the things that I was going to be giving away when we started the affiliate competition, but two, I had created so much hype and, uh, you know, so much excitement for this new tool that was going to make lead generation easy, right? So I do the webinar, I get on there, and I remember like I was so nervous and like people are coming in and then it's like one person, you know, five people, you know, 20 people, you know, 60 people. And back then, like if you were to get 50 people on a webinar at one time, like you were like doing something special. This was before webinars were really a big thing. Um, and then it got to, you know, 100 people and then 120 people. And I'm like, okay, this is it, it's gonna happen. And I do the webinar and I start talking about this new thing in terms of apps. And remember, this is new. People were not used to this type of technology before. And you know, I get to the pitch and I close. And you know, I remember I saw a sale come in. I'm like, awesome, this is about to like happen. And then another one came in and I closed the webinar and I remember I just waited. And then no sales happened. I'm like, what's going on? Everybody was so excited. They were asking questions on the webinar. And then like maybe 15 minutes later, another one came in, I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe something went, went wrong. Like I'm expecting more sales. And then like another 30 minutes, one came in and I'm like, oh gosh, my excitement, my energy, you know, this plan to dominate the vision of the guy who stole from me, stole my idea. Is he winning? Does everybody already have an app that he created for them? Like, is this guy actually crushing it? Should I go look him up? Like all these thoughts start coming through my head. Like one more comes in, I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe something happened. And then it's crickets. I mean, we made like maybe a couple grand at the end of the day. And I remember like I woke up the next day and I'm just like, crap, is this thing even gonna work? Are the people that are, you know, telling me that they wanna promote this thing even gonna want to promote? this product, nobody even wants it. If my own audience doesn't want it, why would their audience want it? And you know, it was crazy because I had structured the product to really benefit them, to be a no brainer in terms of pricing. And for whatever reason, I decided to just switch things up. I said, well, maybe if I make it a little bit less to get started and you know, increase the amount of money that they pay every single month to maintain the app, uh, because we had these really cool features within the app um, that allowed people to literally download the app you know, a lot easier and to build a, you know, two types of lists, not only build a text message list, but obviously get people to download so you could do push notifications directly to you know, the end user. And I'm like, what if I change the price point and make it a little bit easier? So I said, hey, I'm having an encore webinar. And I'm like, the reaction to the last one was amazing, which it was. I didn't mention that there was really barely, barely any, anybody buying. And I did another webinar. But this time it was a lot less people, probably half of the people who were on the first webinar. And I changed up the presentation a little bit and I just made it focus on one thing, which is a lesson, right? If you try to explain everything in your product or service, okay, it's not gonna sell. You have to figure out what's the main benefit of your thing and what problem it's gonna solve and just focus on that one thing. And that's what I did on this presentation. And it was crazy because before I even got to the end, people were like, just send me the link I wanna buy. So I remember I put the link in there and people started buying, I wasn't even done. It was, I remember it was throwing me off and I started to see, I had more sales like halfway through the presentation than I did with the last webinar that had double the amount of people. And underneath the table, I'm like going crazy. I wanna jump up, but I'm trying to hold it in, trying to play it cool, right? But I knew that I had a winner, right? And I got off that webinar and I had probably five times the amount of sales at the end end of the presentation and they just kept going and going and going and at that point I knew I had a winner I knew I could save face and I was excited I started calling up all of the people that had promised me that they were going to promote and I was able to now show them the results for my own presentation which gave them confidence to want to share this idea with their audience and then it was time to get into the game it was game time